Construya. Construya. Su video rocola. Rocola. Build the chassis for 400 watt amplifier. Then you will see how to make a structure in which you will fit the jukebox amplifier parts. The box goes without lid, the connectors and controls are placed upwards as the amplifier is placed on the video jukebox back wall, thus facilitating its installation and operation. Procedure After all the parts that make up the amplifier are ready, as they are, amplifier main board, electric transformer, tone controls, and Zobel network. You should get a 20 gauge iron sheet, of 37 centimeters wide, and 52 centimeters long. This sheet is folded in the U shape, and further has a pair tabs inwardly. Folding the sheet perfectly, is not something that can be done by hand, so it is advisable to go to the industrial area, and look for a place where they have, a metal sheet manual folding machine. They will do the job in seconds, and very economic. With the metal sheet already folded, it begins by placing the transformer inside. The amplifier main board is placed in such a way that it is loose and with space behind and forward. Place the Zobel network in a suitable place. The tone control with microphone preamplifier is measured in the front flange. Now, proceed to draw the point where each hole will go, which later will serve to hold each the amplifier part using screws or plastic fastener. Draw the other two holes necessary to secure the transformer. and the other two holes of the Zobel network. As the marker does not reach some places to draw the other holes, it must use a thin object and moisten it with paint. In this case, use a Bristol key to mark the holes in the amplifier main board. Begin to make the perforations on the box bottom, for this, use a 4mm drill bit. Sometimes it is not possible to place the drill completely vertical, because the tabs on the box, do not allow it. Drill all the points that marked previously. Some holes need to be made from under of the box. We must be recursive and creative. In this case, it necessary to mark, to strike with a nail, from the inside of the box, and then, perforate since the other side. To hold the electronic cards, and to keep them isolated from the box, use plastic fasteners, or PCB spacer supports. In order to place these supports, must enlarge the holes, using a 13 64 inch drill bit, or a 5.2 mm drill bit. Now, after all the holes have been countersunk, try one of the plastic fasteners. This must be perfectly adjusted. The next step, is to make the perforations, necessary for the potentiometers and jacks, of the tones control, with microphone preamplifier. Draw a horizontal line, so that all the potentiometers are perfectly aligned. The distance from the box edge, is to the taste or need of each one. Now, with the marker, we proceed to draw the point of each hole, where each potentiometer and jack will introduce. The tones card is used as template. and drill each point with a 3 or 4 millimeters drill bit. 
should be use a thin drill bit so that the holes are well centered. Change the drill bit by another drill bit of 5 mm or 3 16 inch. And enlarge the holes. The idea is to gradually enlarge the holes so that they do not get decentralized. Then, use the 1 quarter inch or 6 mm drill bit. For the jack holes, it must use a 7 16 inch or 11 mm drill bit. After countersinking the holes, test how the tones control is placed in place. It should fit perfectly. Make perforations for female RCA signal input. Draw a rectangle for the speaker push connector. Make two holes with a 3 8 inch or 9.5 mm drill bit. With the electric jigsaw and a blade for metal, make the necessary cuts until achieving a rectangle as perfect as possible. Be very careful with this tool. Wear safety goggles, earplugs and gloves. If you do not have experience in handling the electric jigsaw, we recommend that you first practice with a thin wood board. Measure the terminal in the hole and see that we still have to polish a little. Proceed to make the necessary corrections. Measure again and watch the push connector already fits. Now place the inverted connector. Mark the place where the holes will go for the adjustment screws. Drill with a 4mm drill bit. Finish by sanding the edges and countersink the holes so that there are no burrs. To place the fuse holder, make a perforation and with a hand cut rasp, give an oval shape. The round hole is for the power cable. We have ready all the perforations necessary to embed and adjust all parts of the amplifier. Finally, we ask to paint with electrostatic paint which gives it a resistant and durable finish. In the next video, we will see how to assemble all the parts of the amplifier inside this chassis. Success! We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to the toll button and check the box Send Me Updates. Join us on Facebook. And follow us on Twitter. Visit our website construyasuvideorocola.com